We have all heard of clean eating, but how about plastic-free eating? With microplastics turning up in everything from bottled water to broccoli, avoiding them is starting to feel like a full-time job. But don't panic just yet. We have got the ultimate cheat sheet to help you dodge those sneaky plastic bits, hiding in your fridge, makeup products, and even your laundry. Because while we can't completely escape microplastics, we can definitely stop inviting them to dinner. Here's our report. Microplastics are like that one toxic X, everywhere, persistent, and just not good for you. They've turned up in drinking water, chicken nuggets, apples, and probably even in your last oat milk latte. Studies now link them to serious health risks like heart and lung problems. Completely avoiding microplastics in today's world is about as easy as trying to sip soup with a fork. They're everywhere. But a person can still make small and smart choices to limit how many of these pesky particles end up in your body. That fancy bottle might be serving you more plastic than hydration. Some studies suggest bottled water has more microplastics than tap water. Invest in a reusable glass or steel bottle that's chic, eco-friendly and way less toxic. Takeaway coffee cups have a sneaky plastic lining that breaks down in hot liquids, leaving a plastic aftertaste quite literally. The solution is to bring your own mug or ask for a real one at cafes. Those silky pyramid-shaped tea bags, well, many are entirely plastic, and even regular-looking ones might be sealed with plastic glue. One bag can reportedly release billions of microplastics into your tea. So choosing a loose leaf tea with a stainless steel infuser or paper filters is the way forward. Polyester, nylon and acrylic clothing are comfy but also plastic. Every time you wash them, they shed microplastics into the water. Instead, opt for clothes made from cotton, wool, linen or hemp. For the future, fashion can wait. Also, that exfoliating scrub that you love might be scrubbing you with plastic. Look for terms like acrylate copolymer or polyethylene on labels and avoid them. Go for natural, biodegradable options instead. Fragrance-free products are usually better too. Many scented ones contain phthalates, a no-go for your hormones. And sorry sushi lovers, fish and shellfish often come with a side of microplastics. This is courtesy of polluted oceans. Plastic particles have been reportedly found in the flesh of over 386 aquatic animals. The less seafood you eat, the fewer plastic particles you're likely to ingest. Your carpets, curtains and sofa covers can shed plastic fibres into the air. Whenever possible, choose natural materials like cotton, jute, wool or bamboo. Not only are they chic and breathable, but they also don't double as a plastic factory. Every plastic toothbrush, hairbrush or food wrapper adds to the problem. Choose long-lasting biodegradable or recyclable alternatives. Look for certifications and support brands that prioritise sustainable packaging and transparent ingredient lists. Well, you can't live in a microplastic-free bubble. The problem won't solve overnight. But reducing plastic usage is a step towards cleaner bodies and a healthier planet. And every swap matters. At First Post, we are choosing to hold on to accuracy. That means we won't always be first. We may not get you your breaking alert. But what you will get is what we owe you. And that is the truth. Verified, checked and cross-checked. We rely on sources and verified ones. After all, that's what separates a journalist from a loudspeaker. But sometimes even we miss a beat. And when we do, we will tell you. Like yesterday, we ran visuals from a registered news agency. That visual turned out to be fake. So we are taking accountability. And from now on, we will cite the source of every visual. Every picture, every video that you see on First Post will have a source mentioned. 
That is our commitment to you. We will wait, we will verify, we will ask again, and only then will we tell you. No noise, no panic, just the facts. Because right now, that is what the country needs most.